Good morning, everybody. It's New Year's Eve. Good morning, Dad Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is the last day of the year, the last day of the decade, and we're in Vienna. Is this looking alright? You're like dark blue and grey before you go together. It's like dashing. Dashing. Spiffing. Anyway. We kind of had a slow morning because we wanted to sleep in for the sake of being able to stay up super late this evening. Um, which, uh, worked ish. Chris woke up and fell back to sleep. I kind of, yeah, did the same. So, things, things we've learnt so far. This free water we were given. Manky. Don't know what it is. It's like... It's called Hailwasser, which means... It tastes like flat still water. Flat, no, flat fizzy water. Yeah. Like it tastes like it used to be fizzy and it's got a weird like, not lemony, but like soapy aftertaste, it's weird. Yeah. It's so we've been fun. drinking from the tap because everywhere we've Googled it says Austria has some of the best tap water in the world. And we're just hoping that our tap in our room counts in that. <laughs> So we've learned that uh, the water in Austria comes pretty much directly from the Alps. So, can't get much better than that, can we? Also we've learned the hand soap that they've given us is like some of the nicest spelling stuff in oh, the entire world. Nice it's know. hair and body wash, so you can literally lather it over your entire body. It smells like perfume though. It does. It's ridiculously nice. I wish there was smell vision so I could show you. But it's so nice. What actually is the smell, does it say? Uh, it's all in German, I can't be able to translate it. Oh. I see Rosen, which means rose. Outside of that, I've got nothing. But it smells really, really nice. Anyways, so today, we're going to be exploring. We're going to be walking around the city. We were going to take the tram over to where we wanted to go, but then we realised all the places that we pass along the way are places we want to see as well. So we're pretty much just going to go for a long stroll today and do a massive loop and end up back at the hotel. Um, but first, breakfast slash brunch now. There is a, we think it's called, we think it's like a chain bakery, because yeah, we've seen several of them, called Anchor, A-N-K-E-R, and we're gonna go, it's like, it does pastries, it's a bakery. Is it like Greg's, do they do sausage rolls? Uh, I think it's more of a bakery bakery. Yeah. They do like bread and pastries. Fair enough. Let's go, let's go get some brekkie then, shall we? The lighting when I walk towards you. So bad. It's pretty dark in that hall, isn't it? It is. Dark halls. Anyway, food. Let's go. Let's get on with the day. Whoop whoop. <whistles> whoop whoop. <laughs> right, we're out and about. Ankle was closed, so we just went to a spa and they had a little bakery in there. Which is nice. We are now walking out on about. So what's this? It's translated directly to Heroes and Monument of the Red Army. Oh. Hence why it's probably in Russian. I see. I think this was a fountain. But I imagine it's a bit chilly for the pipes. Because it is freezing. Wow. It's tall. We found a park. I mean, was it Schweiz? Schweizer? Schweizer Garden. Schweizer Garden. It's pretty. Pond. It's the modern art museum in front of us. It's a nice, it's nice to stroll around Vienna. We don't really need a direction. Because everywhere you walk there's something. Something to see. Right, family pool is over there. There's a pool. Let's head over that direction. The map is not working in our favour and I don't have access to my 4G. So. Let's just go <laughs> Screw the map. We do things on our own terms. Museum. Cannot translate what museum. <laughs> but the architecture is just so pretty. Chris is obsessed with finding a swimming pool that's apparently in this park. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we were standing right next to it and then we moved location on the map to like the opposite side of the park and I was like, 
Wait. We've basically done like four circles of this part because my maps can't work out where we are. We think we found one of the parks we were heading towards. And there's a lot of houses. The architecture in Vienna is super pretty. There's also explosions going on and we don't know what they are, but no one else seems to be reacting to them, so we're not panicking. <laughs> but I was looking at these houses. They're so short. Like, they look like mini houses. I don't know how to describe it. They just seem a lot smaller than an average house in England. And I mean that height-wise. Like, width-wise it looks normal size, but height-wise they just look short. And I don't know how else to explain that. Look at these ones. I don't know how to explain it. They're just... The houses are shorter here. <laughs> but we've proper walked out of the city centre and into like a lovely little suburban part of the city. How are you feeling, Morty? Chilly? Oh, actually, right. Let's decide to Should we find somewhere to sit and have a snack? Yeah. Look at that. Can you see the lake yet? Oh, getting away from Chris's photo. Wow, this is. Not pretty. Cold. We sat down for a very long time and now we're really cold. My legs are better though. Yeah, legs were better. So, we think we found an app that has given us a 48 hour ticket for any transport in Vienna for only 14 euros. Oh god, the wind. It's so cold. Oh. So, we're going to find a tram. We just both bought the ticket. 48 hour ticket and now we're going to head to a tram stop and get on a tram although we don't know where the trams go <laughs> could take us to the opposite side of Vienna yeah. but it's okay because we have a ticket that's valid for 48 hours although it's kind of it cancels the um halfway through our last day so we can't can't really use it on the last day but oh my god, is it cold? We're on a tram now. <laughs> Feeling very grateful to not be in the cold. I can't feel my hands. Hello. It's quite a bit later. We kind of walked around for a crazy long time. Then we've kind of come back to our hotel with the plan to kind of crash until we go out for dinner. We booked at, you know, an authentic Austrian restaurant by the name of uh, TGI Fridays. It's, you know, all the rage in, in Austria. So that's where we're going for dinner tonight. We didn't really want anything fancy and I think Austrian New Year's Eve tradition is to go out to dinner and so all the nice places are like fully booked. Fine by us, we don't mind. And then I believe the plan is to go to where there are going to be fireworks for the countdown. Which... Where is it? By the city hall? Yeah. The city hall. That's what we're gonna head over to for midnight. But until then, we're taking a chill. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm making a list of movies. So my New Year's resolution not that I'm particularly loyal to my New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution is to watch a new movie every week because I'm a huge movie fanatic. I love watching movies. I love writing. I love I love every aspect of movie making. But I definitely do not watch anywhere near as many films as I used to. And that makes me sad. And I've, there's a lot of movies that I've not seen that people are like, oh my God, you've not seen this? What's wrong with you? And I'm like, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> so, 2020 is going to be the year I watch all those movies, so I have to watch at least one per week. So I'm making a list. Pretty much I've got all of the Marvel movies that I've not seen, which is most of the Marvel movies. As well as a few of the DC movies I've not seen. I haven't seen any of the Terminators or Mission Impossible. Got some musicals on there. What did you add? Where is it? It's called Focus. Focus? What's that about? It's Will Smith. 
and Margot Robbie. Is that the watch one? The watch one. The one where she steals watches and he's like, you're such an amateur. Yeah. We've seen that. We watched it together, remember? That was 20 years ago. No, we watched it on your birthday and my dad's birthday for my dad. We went out for the day to Mercedes Benz World. We came back, we watched Focus with my dad. Oh, yeah, I think I remember. Seen that one. Oh, that's good. Already checking them off my list. So that's what I'm doing now. We got Chris also popped to the supermarket to pick up some snacks. It's quite chilly in here. I've turned the heating back up because I was cold. It's kind of taking it slow until dinner time now. We had a really like, adventurous morning. I didn't vlog a lot of it because it was very cold and I wanted to keep my hands in my pockets. But it was a really nice explore. I feel like we've covered most of Vienna at this point. Or at least a very large percentage of it. And we still have, you know, tomorrow and most of the day after. Hello everyone. It's later. Where's my lipstick? It's later. We are just about to head out for our dinner reservation. There's Christopher in his new, new jumper. <laughs> no, I've got to Hang on. Very straightforward outfit. I'm gonna make it look a bit dressier with coat and gloves and stuff <laughs> and some heel shoes, not the boots that I've been wearing all day. I don't know why I put them on. You can take my camera for a second. So, plans for the evening. We're going out for dinner and then we're gonna go to the bar in the hotel because we have a £30 voucher because Chris is an Expedia VIP. Flip on yourself and do a smile. <laughs> Uh, and then we're going to, for midnight, basically everywhere says people head to one of two places. They either go to the city hall where the firework displays are, or to the cathedral where the bells go, the countdown bells go. They're only 15 minute walk apart, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the cathedral and then head over to the fireworks, kind of throughout the evening because it's one of those things where I was like fireworks happen one we could probably see them everywhere or near enough by and two you can see firework displays anywhere you can't you know stand next to the cathedral in Vienna anywhere can you that was the logic but yeah we really need to go out for dinner you ready let's do, don't do that <laughs> let's go let's go there's the street our hotel's on. Chris is just crossing the road to take a photo because we're like five minutes early for our reservation. But look, oh the camera just doesn't do it not justice. But like our hotel's right there and that's the street. Isn't it pretty? And there's Chris, he's also very pretty. <laughs> oh my god. That's the size of your head. He's so chuffed with himself. I went for a small one, like a normal person. Crazy man. Just got out of dinner. Oh, let's cross. There were fireworks going up the road and then as soon as I pulled out the camera, they stopped. I literally, I pulled out the camera and they stopped. I'm really sad. Anyways, we're going back to our hotel bar to uh, get drinks, because Chris has a 30 pound off voucher for being an Expedia VIP. I'm already a little tipsy. We had a, um, what was our oh, mojito? Raspberry. Raspberry mojito. Raspberry rose mojito pitcher. So, I've started to sober back up. But I'm already, I'm really easy to get drunk. I've noticed. Chris is a bit tipsy. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. So. get a copyright strike. Major change of plan. Basically, we tried to go up to the hotel bar to spend our 30 pound voucher, but we don't really, I think something's gone a bit lost in translation. Either it's been hired out for an exclusive party or it's like a sold out event and it costs like 290 something euros or something to get in. Yeah, so the only way we can spend that voucher is if we go to the very top floor where they have like a panoramic 
uh, sort of roof restaurant bar, but uh, we uh, can't get in, it's fully booked, and we can't even try because the key card won't actually let us in the lift to go up. And also, we think Chris is, um, the person at the counter basically said that Chris is like, Expedia VIP pass might expire tomorrow as of 2020, which doesn't really make much sense. Well, it doesn't make much sense, because on the actual voucher itself, it says Chris Ward staying 2019-2020, so I feel like it would last my duration of the stay, but... I guess not. Anyway, it's now coming up to half eleven. Luckily, the place we want to go to is literally around the corner, so we're just gonna go do that. We're going to the cathedral. Uh, apparently, there's a bunch of well, supposedly I haven't heard anything, but supposedly there's meant to be a bunch of like live music and stuff leading up to the countdown. But we've been getting drunk off the mini bar, basically. We're a little yeah, wine drunk. Wine. I don't like wine, but I've managed to get myself wine drunk. Yeah. yeah. You look super handsome. I was going to say sexy, but then I was like, should I say that on the vlog? And then I'm like, why not? A uh, little tipsy, let's go. Oh, I need to put my hand scarf on, actually. Anyway, we're going to the cathedral now for the countdown. I'm going to put my hand on. Yes, you will, because it's really cold outside. We made it. Very crowded, lots of fishing. There's the cathedral. That guy's head's just got right. There you go. We think the fireworks will be somewhat that direction. Very exciting. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. It's kind of a good spot to be honest. Yeah. Sirens here are so loud. Hi, how are you? It's 2020. Well, actually, in the UK, it isn't still. It's, it's not in the UK. It's, it's quarter to one in the morning here, which means it's quarter to 12 in the UK. Yeah, we were out about, we did the countdown, it was cool, and then we got we walked through all the crowds. We saw some fireworks through buildings. But like the what was meant to be the main firework display, it was only meant to be like ten minutes away, walking distance, ten minute walk, and you couldn't hear any of the fireworks, which is not. Yeah, we were told by one of the hotel staff that only. Only one person or one. Location. Location was authorized and licensed to use fireworks. But when we were walking back, fireworks were coming up from all over the place. Do you want to flip again? No, I don't, because I look ugly. You <laughs> look ugly. You're silly. They were coming back from all over the place. They were coming from... 
pretty much every street. Yeah, I don't know if that was legal or not though. But yeah, we had a really nice New Year. It's the first time we've been out and about on a New Year. I've always been in watching it from the TV. Yeah, which is always nice, but... Yeah, it is. it's nice if you've got lots of people to spend it with, but you know. It was nice being out and about. It was nice being out and about. I need to keep the eye on o'clock for when yeah. it turns New Year at home. Yeah. Yeah, as we said, only one person was allowed to have fireworks. But then it's not like London where it's like 10 minutes of intense. No. I feel fireworks. like we're spoiled with London's fireworks, though. Because London's probably one of the best on the planet. Yeah. It was just like one firework going off. Like one every. 30 seconds. Yeah, so like, it was just like a small firework every 30 seconds. I imagine there was something bigger where the, ho uh, where the like, where they were being set off from. But yeah, we just couldn't see. I couldn't hear them go off. You couldn't even hear the bells. No, I couldn't hear the bells. The countdown went and I'm just like, woo. 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 <laughs> Evening. I'm really tired. That's why I'm barely like not really animated right now. I'm also wine drunk, which means I feel a bit gross. Gross. <laughs> being wine drunk isn't fun. Like being drunk is fun, but being wine drunk is not fun. Like wine drunk, you just feel sick. You don't actually feel drunk. You just have a headache. Yeah. And you feel like you're throw up. It's, it's like, like oh. two different things. Cocktail drunk. So, what are we going to do, Georgia? What, right now? Yeah. Stay up and have a natter. No, I'm going to end the vlog, though. What are we going to do with the vlog? We're going to end it. What are we going to, well, we're going to end it? What? So, let me do. Okay. So, we're going to end the vlog here. <laughs> Dang, I did oh, it Oh, sorry. You wanted me to say here. It's like your catchphrase. Is it? That's not, that's just the only thing you hear me say, because that's all you, you're only ever in the end of my vlogs. We're going to end the vlog here. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Ah.